Hello, and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed, where I talk about anything Star Wars. I'm Richard, and on this episode, I am going to talk about... The Skiff again? Yes, the Skiff again. This time, the vintage Skiff is empty. What am I going to do about that? Look, I got the, the vintage collection Skiff, which is really awesome. It's populated with all these wonderful vintage characters. But in the vintage GIF, I have nothing. Do I have any other vintage characters? I don't. I really don't. I think I'm using them all. I got the Klaatu, the Weequay, the Barada. Here's another. Another Klaatu used for this. So what could I possibly use? What could I possibly use? Hmm. How about fifth? <laughs> yes, it's the three pack. The Return of the Jedi Skiff characters three pack. Is that what you want to call it? What do we want to call it? Let's see. Does it have an actual name to it? It just says three action figures. Return of the Jedi. Doesn't say anything about it being skiff characters or anything like that. Yeah, it's got this really cool picture on the back showing the skiff. What does it say here? Job of the Hut sentenced Luke Skywalker and his friends to walk the plank of a Bantha 2 cargo skiff hmm. over the great pick of Carcoon. The Dane, a red Nikto slave, was at the controls at the rear of the desert skiff as it hovered over the almighty Sarlacc. While the surrounding guards confronted Luke, a disguised Lando Calrissian ambushed the skiff pilot. The red Nikto Vizam, Jabba's weapons master, fired a laser cannon from the sail barge Katana, but the blast sent Vidane into the Sarlacc's tentacled maw. A second skiff of Jabba's guards, which included the helmeted Brock Starsher, arrived to prevent the prisoner's escape, only to be defeated by the lightsaber-wielding Jedi Knight. Very cool! I love that description. It tells me exactly what the characters were doing. That's awesome. Return of the Jedi. Am I going to open this? You betcha! It's a very cool packaging, though. I like the... It, it's almost like the uh, Tri logo with the, the three different languages. Alright, I'm gonna open this up. Let's take the first figure out. Wow. So neat. This is the Dane Skiff Pilot. From the... Vintage Collection, VC-152. And this series came out with Vizan, Vidane, Brock Starsher, Luke Skywalker Crate. I never, I haven't still haven't seen that one. That's annoying. Imperial Assault Tank Commander and Death Star Gunner. Very nice picture. It looks like it's taken directly from the movie. Not a photoshopped image or computer enhanced image. There's the figure, very nicely detailed. Let's take the other ones out. This one is Vizam, and this one has a cannon, a laser cannon that I could put on the barge. Another shot that looks like direct, taken directly from the movie. And this one is a, looks like the same, same type of, same stuff on the back. This one is number 153. And lastly, but not leastly, is Brock Starsher. And this one actually looks like a promo shot. He's just standing there. And he's got the standard weapon. And this is VC-154. I love these card backs. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Oh my gosh! What? Open it? Yes, I'm going to open this because I want to put them on display with my, with the vehicles. There we go. 
All right, Brock Starsher, look at this. Very nice figure. It's got a pretty plain, looks like a jumpsuit, but um, I really like the detail in the folds and the ruffling and the clothing. What is this all about? This is crazy. It's got a uh, hose that goes from his pant up around and into the other side of his pant. Would like to know what that's all about. And his helmet is pretty cool looking. Doesn't come off, so what's underneath? Hmm. Be nice to know. Strange figure. Mysterious man. Does he articulate well? Let's see. Bending at the knees very easily. Bending at the feet. This one, but not so much this one. But the turning, the turning. They turn well. The arms go out. Bend at the elbows. Yes, very nice. Turn at the wrist. Yeah. Nicely articulated. Yeah. It's a good looking figure. I like the helmet. It's very neat. Very different. It's interesting that it's all black. There's no other detail to the helmet, but just the black. And... Here is one of his weapons. It's pistol with blaster. Goes in the hand right there. And the trigger finger goes in or no? No, I don't think so. Or maybe it actually goes here. Like that. No, it's he doesn't have fingers that separate. Alright. Okay, so his Pistol goes here, and then his other weapon, this, whatever you call this, holds it just well. Look at that. Awesome. And then does he have a holster? No holster. What's up with that? But he's got a little bit of dirt detail on his boot, both of his boots. Whoops. Almost dropped the pistol. All right, well, that's Brock Starsher. Let's put him on the skiff. All right, time to cut this one. I just love the vintage style card. These looks, these look great. Got very little of the, the plastic on it. See that? So great. All right, let's take this guy out. Vizam. Oh, this thing comes off. All right, very, very interesting. And kind of a bit colorful. Got the blue here, the yellows there. Lots of different colors. This moves a bit, but does not come off. Ooh, he's got a holster for his pistol. The bracers here, kind of shiny. A little bit, a little shine going there. Put his helmet back on. Helmet? Hat? Doesn't stay on very well though. So you, like, you move it around too much, it'll fall right off. But I do not plan on playing with this. Just displaying. Okay, so this limits the leg articulation. The This little skirt here. Oh well. Bends at the knee. Don't break. Please don't break. Not bending. That's not good. See it, but it's not bending. Well, that one doesn't want to bend either. I'm afraid this is gonna break if I pull it, push too hard. Damn. Okay. Foot doesn't. This turns, but no articulation there. Turns, but no up and down. Even though you can see that it should. It's gonna bend at the elbow at least. There we go. That's good. And this one too. Yeah, and flare out a bit, flare out, uh, there we go, head turn, yep, oh, we got the swiveling in the head, nice, all right, at the waist, it turns, very cool, all right, let's look at his pistol, which is, looks the same as the one that Brock Starsher had, just a different color. Yeah, 
and hmm, I think it's a lefty. Looks like it. He holds it well with the left hand. Maybe? Let's see. That one's hard to go in. Let's put it this way. Eh. It looks like it'll go in better on the left. There we go. Whoops. That's kind of odd. <laughs> Because his trigger finger is right there, does that mean I need to push this down more so his finger can go in the part that has the actual trigger? Oh, I think so. And get this just right. Well, not so much. It almost works. Oh, well, let's see. I can get his finger in there. There we go. Look at that! His finger actually goes into the trigger. And then he has this... Cannon. So it should go this way onto the barge. Does it? Oh, it moves. This moves. Now it goes like that. I'm gonna put that up. Alright. Oh, and this looks like this turns. No? Yes? No? No. Time for the last figure. Vidane, skiff pilot. And this one has French, where the others don't. All right. Cut him out. There we go. It always gets kind of slow over here at the at the end here. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna do it like this. Go in here, this way. That doesn't work for me. I don't know why. <laughs> it seems to work better this way. Very strange. But every time he goes to the curves, it just doesn't want to cut easily. And there we go. Nice, beautiful cut on this card. Okay, Vidane. Is his hat going to come off easily? Yep, sure does. Almost a little like a little skirt thing just in the front so it looks like you can do better articulation with the legs thinking so like go ah um, actually it'd be better like this it's falling but I love the the extra attention to to detail here with the different shading you know the dirt shades and the uh, the ruffling and the folds and the clothing, very cool. Wait, well his, look at that, very nice. And it turns. This is a little better articulation than Vizam. Oh Vizam, look at that. Bends at the knees and. Arms out. He's in a backpack and turn. Oh, he turns a little bit up higher up here. Not at the not at the waist, but more in the chest area. And he has a holster. Okay, looks like looks like he's. They did the the shape for this one same way. Shape of his hand. Like if I get the gun in deep enough, I can get his trigger finger to go on the trigger. Will that work? There we go. All right. Look at that. Pretty cool. Wait, is he not going to turn? Wait, what's going on here? Why doesn't he bend at the elbow? What is going on? Oh, these figures. You got to be really careful with the articulation because move it wrong and it just wants to break. What's going on here? There we go. Wow, that's really tough to, to bend. Ah, oh, there we go. That's Vidane. Let's get him to the barge. Now I'm ready to put those three figures onto the skiff. I said the barge, but no, I meant the skiff. Yes, they 
the one of the descriptions on the box with that one of the figures was on the barge but i'm gonna put them on the skiff it's my world i can do whatever i want with it all right the first thing i'm gonna do is put this gun put the gun up there uh it slides in like this i guess let's see okay so it goes in like this and that's better right gonna put <sighs> is this ironic is it ironic that i'm putting the newer figures on the vintage skiff but all the vintage figures are on the newer skiff hmm i like it okay we gotta put mm, put them here how about there yeah probably gonna have to use stands so they can stand better so they don't fall over in case i bump this okay he doesn't need a stand because he could just stand right there and that this one go right there let's put this right here like this need, whoops need to fix this there we go all right can he stand over here with the brick I'll put him over here ah oh good catch there we go put this this now he doesn't want to stand. What's up with that? There we go. Look at that. Looks so much better, but they're looking out that way. Maybe they should be looking over there. Let's turn him around. Looking at the... There we go. There. Turn him around. There, that's better. All right, look at that, so much better. So I need to get more and more figures to add to this wonderful display that I have here. All right, thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. If you want to be notified of upcoming videos, hit that bell icon. And you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram.